Hi, uh, I want to show a recent project that I was working on to make a slip ring. The reason for that is, um, of course it took me a while, it was really time inefficient to make it myself, but I'm currently upgrading a gimbal that's based on LX MOS controller. I want to upgrade it with encoder sensors, so the controller will get absolute values of the angle of each axis and the problem is um, or yeah, the reason for the slip ring is I chose encoders that work with a magnet so the magnet rotates on each axis over the sensor and before when I was using the gimbal without sensor without encoding sensors or encoder sensors um, I already had a slip ring which you can buy like this one but then I had the problem that I can't let the magnet rotate over the axis because in the middle of the axis you have the wires coming out so um, yeah for for the mechanics of the gimbal, this is the yaw motor. Um, it wasn't possible to use uh, this kind of slip ring as long as I want to use the magnet type encoders, which are the cheapest ones. And I didn't also I didn't really think about this problem that it could appear. So yeah, um, so I made this slip ring milled every single part on the CNC mill <laughs> took a while and I don't even know if it will work so I made these all these rings from a brass pipe and uh, the housing for plastic uh, also I made these little insulators that also keep the contacts in place I'm not sure if it'll work with this material. I think it's also brass. It's not the best kind of metal that you use for the slipping contact. Before I uh, decided to make the whole slip ring by myself, I tried to modify another um, commercial one, commercially available one, which uh, was this one. But the contacts are too thin and the gimbal draws maybe two to three amps because it also has to supply video transmitter and camera sometimes. So yeah. Made my own and now putting it together.